Welcome to my car and train channel. I have test driven for you this Hyundai Santa Fe during three days. Very pleasant car. It's not the first time that I drive one. There is another test drive in this uh, channel. Now let's go and look inside what the car has to offer. I love the welcome jingle. The dashboard is still very pleasant uh, to read. All the information is very well centralized. Now you find the very typical steering wheel with the four clusters of information. The volume here on the left side, the phone function, the cruise control on the top right, and the control here of the uh, display of the inboard co onboard computer. On this side, your typical cluster for the windows and locking the door and the side mirrors. Central dash with the radio, the phone functions, and the different menu options. Climate control. Here I am in Texas. Is it's in December. I thought I would not need the air conditioning, but actually I need it as a defrost. Uh, as you can see, the defrost is activated here. Otherwise, I cannot really see clearly through the, the windshield. Don't know if it's a defect of the car, but it may imply that you need to run with AC all the time, even during the winter mo month. Shifting shift with the conventional automatic in drive and then the manual plus or minus to shift upwards or downwards. From drive, as you can see, I am shifting in mode manual. First gear, second gear, third gear, fourth, a six-speed transmission. If I want to get a little bit more kick, I'm going to shift down. Fifth, you see the RPM is going up. Fourth, and because I am driving at a good speed, I'm not going to shift down lower. And now I am in drive mode. Now 
let's shift down. I start to be towards a traffic light. The roof instruments are very simple. The front row is decently roomy for two adults. The rear will accommodate two adults also, but not more. The trunk will fit uh, two nice suitcases uh, and a lot of additional luggage. Uh, as you can see, you can fold the rear seats. The fuse compartment. The engine bay with the GDI engine that you find in a lot of Hyundai cars. One challenge of this car is the rear view vision. Because of the thick pillars in the back and the very small window of the lift gate, you have a very poor vision. If you couple with the fact that this car is not equipped with the rear view camera, it's at times challenging to go backwards in reverse. The different functions. The gas tank opening here is not easy to find for the first time. Functions of the seat. All manual. Steering wheel adjustment lever. <coughs> Extra storage bin. The central partition in the middle of the rear seat and the folding levers an extra cigarette lighter plug in the back the folding uh, floor in the rear of the trunk 
on the right side uh, you, you have the jack in case your uh, tire uh, is flat and on the left you have some additional space for um, putting additional uh, belongings an additional uh, compartment below the trunk floor this is very smart with dividers just a word of caution you cannot put loads in the floor trunk that are too heavy otherwise it's going to bend uh, the floor thanks for watching this test drive if you have any question please ask them through the command section i have many more test drive in my car and train channel